A volcano in Pakistan in far northwestern Pakistan lies an incredibly hot and arid desert rich in sand dunes. There is very little vegetation, owing to the fact that it can at times go several years without any rain falling. Adding to this is the fact that across five months daily high temperatures in this province of Balochistan regularly exceed 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. You might think that this setting would be an unlikely location for volcanoes to be situated, especially due to its distance of 440 kilometers or 273 miles from the nearest ocean. In fact, Pakistan is the single largest country on the planet in terms of overall population to not have a single active volcano, unlike say India which has either one or two active volcanoes depending on the source cited. Yet, despite not having any active volcanoes, this absence does not mean that Pakistan doesn't have a small risk of producing another volcanic eruption in the future. As, in the remote desert region that I just described is a large yet highly eroded volcano which even today allegedly still contains active fumaroles indicating likely magma at depth along with a series of hot springs. This is the story of Pakistan's debatably dormant rather latest eruption than extinct volcano which has a very low albeit possible future chance of erupting again one day. The volcano in question is known as Koi Sultan, which last produced an eruption 90,000 years ago, depositing large volumes of pumice over its southwestern slopes. While much about this volcano is still unclear, I interpret that this most recent eruption occurred within the eastern portion of its Miri Kokon, forming a 940-meter or 3,084-foot-wide mar crater in the ground inside a pre-existing lava dome. I personally interpret that this eruption reached a volcanic explosivity index of a 4, ejecting 0.18 cubic kilometers of tephra. Now, for a brief overview of this massive 1,428-square-kilometer volcano. The Koi Sultan volcano consists of four large volcanic cones which each, while highly eroded, contain a prominent caldera on their summit, owing to ancient incredibly powerful explosive volcanic eruptions. It thus composition should come as no surprise that a whopping 90% of this complex is not composed of lava, but instead a combination of ash, pumice, and pyroclastic flow deposits from various explosive eruptions. The thickest of these deposits today has a stark white color, representing pumice-rich ancient laha deposits that descended this volcano's major drainages. Of the remaining 10% of rock which does represent lava, it consists almost entirely of andesite, with incidental amounts of basaltic andesite, and towering lava plugs representing eroded magmatic intrusions that form monoliths out of dacite rock. Depending on the source cited, all four of these volcanic cones formed since either 5.9 million or 2.4 million.